Around 65 million years ago, a massive catastrophe occurred on the surface of the Earth when a meteor, about the size of a mountain, was hitting towards Earth at a speed of around 40,000 kilometers per hour. It collided with the Earth's surface and created a crater with a diameter of approximately 200 kilometers. This crater caused earthquakes, volcanoes, and massive tsunamis. The Earth's atmosphere began to change, and the whole planet was covered in thick clouds of smoke, steam, and ash. The temperature was so high that it melted rocks, and the dense clouds of smoke and steam blocked out the sun's light for months on end. The meteor was a warning of the end of the dinosaur era, but amidst these difficult circumstances, a group of creatures managed to survive the catastrophe. Crocodiles were one of the most important animals, but what helped them survive the disaster, and what distinguished them from others? Welcome, I'm Davis. Before we begin, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications so that you can receive our videos as soon as they're published. Crocodiles have been present on Earth for over 200 million years, living alongside dominant animals such as dinosaurs and other creatures. When the meteor struck the Earth, it caused three major problems that threatened all living beings and was the main cause of the mass extinction that occurred. The first problem was the destruction of natural resources that animals relied on for survival. For example, if a group of animals lived in a certain area, depended on trees for food, shelter, and protection, and the trees were destroyed, these animals would lose everything and eventually die out. However, crocodiles were able to adapt to this situation very effectively. Crocodiles are semi-aquatic animals that can live both on land and in water. They can live in dry or wet environments and can change their lifestyle with ease. On land, crocodiles can run at speeds of up to 35 kilometers per hour, climb trees, and adapt to new conditions. In water, crocodiles are skilled swimmers who can dive for long periods and hold their breath for up to an hour due to their ability to store oxygen in their lungs. This was one of the most important factors that helped crocodiles survive disasters because if their habitat was destroyed, they could move to another area and adapt to new conditions. In addition, researchers believe that the impact of the meteor on freshwater rivers and lakes was less severe than its impact on land and saltwater bodies, which may have helped crocodiles survive. The second problem that occurred at that time was a significant decrease in the plant cover on the Earth's surface, which led to a lack of food for herbivorous animals. As a result, vast numbers of herbivorous and carnivorous animals died because they depended on herbivorous animals for food. Nearly three-quarters of plant and animal species disappeared from the earth. However, crocodiles had a solution to the food shortage problem. Crocodiles are carnivorous creatures that can eat a variety of food sources. They can eat large animals such as deer and wild pigs, and they can even eat elephants. If they cannot find any large prey, they can eat small animals such as rodents, turtles, lizards, and frogs. Additionally, crocodiles also feed on marine creatures such as fish and crustaceans. Another advantage of crocodiles is that they do not need to eat a lot because they are cold-blooded, unlike warm-blooded animals. Therefore, they do not need a large amount of food to generate heat. Moreover, crocodiles have a slow metabolic rate, slow heart rate, and slow movement, which allows them to eat very little food. They can also store food in their stomachs for a long time and use it when they are hungry. Assuming there is no food at all, crocodiles can still survive for a very long time without eating. We're not talking about a day or two, but a period that could last for a year. If a catastrophic event such as a meteor impact occurred and destroyed the Earth's ecosystem, crocodiles could find a safe place to hide and enter a state of torpor for a year. After the year passes, they can come out and assess the situation. If the environment has improved, they can resume their normal activities and hunt for food. If the situation is still dire, they can go back into hiding for another year. The concept of torpor or hibernation for a year doesn't make much of a difference to crocodiles as they are long-lived creatures. Their lifespan ranges from 30 to 70 years, and some crocodiles in the wild can live up to 100 years. The third problem that occurred was the drastic climate changes that took place on Earth after the meteor impact. Initially, the temperature rose significantly, but the massive fires that broke out due to the impact, along with the gases, smoke, and dust that rose into the atmosphere, blocked the sun's rays for a long time causing the temperature to drop drastically. After the smoke and dust cleared, the temperature rose again. 
The continuous and drastic changes in temperature made it difficult for most animals to adapt. Additionally, the air on Earth was heavily polluted due to the widespread fires that produced massive amounts of toxic gases estimated at over 10 trillion tons of carbon dioxide, 100 billion tons of carbon monoxide, and 100 billion tons of methane. Moreover, the ozone layer was severely damaged, causing a significant increase in ultraviolet radiation on Earth, which had a detrimental effect on many living organisms. Despite all these problems, crocodiles had solutions to survive. Despite being cold-blooded, crocodiles have the ability to tolerate different temperatures and adapt to changing environmental conditions. This is because crocodiles possess one of the strongest skin in the animal kingdom, with their scaly skin composed of several layers, each with different properties and characteristics that allow them to resist temperature changes and different environmental conditions. For example, the outer layer is thick and hard, which makes it resistant to extreme heat, ultraviolet radiation, and reduces the effect of wind on the body. The small scales on the skin's surface also help to reduce the wind's impact on their body. The inner layer, known as the soft skin, contains many blood vessels, oil, and nerve glands, and plays an important role in regulating the crocodile's body temperature. Moreover, crocodiles can change the color of their skin temporarily to match their surroundings. This is achieved through special skin cells called chromatophores, which help them to blend in with their environment and avoid detection from predators. This ability also helps them regulate their body temperature. Regarding the pollutants in the air, the respiratory system of crocodiles allows them to live in low-oxygen environments. At a time when oxygen levels were less than two-thirds of their current levels, crocodiles were able to live and breathe easily. Additionally, Crocodiles have a very strong immune system that can efficiently handle most diseases. All of these factors allowed crocodiles to survive the catastrophic event that led to the extinction of dinosaurs. The most surprising thing is that crocodiles have even survived humans. Despite our tendency to endanger and drive many animals to extinction, crocodiles have managed to survive and thrive. There are about 23 species of crocodiles in the wild, and none of them are extinct or even threatened. Humans continue to destroy crocodile habitats and lakes without considering the consequences. This highlights how tenacious and strong these creatures are. This brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget like the video before leaving and to leave any questions in the comments. Goodbye.